Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so Leo, yep, I've been MIA. All right, so family stuff going on. All right, so there's that. I'm here. I'm just here. All right, so let's see what we got going on for us coming in December. General messages, whatever comes out, love, money, whatever. Okay, so there's that. Take what fits, leave the rest. Feel free to check the other signs in your chart once they are posted. Actually, I can't even say that anymore because I'm not doing all signs. So there's that. <laughs> all right, so anyway. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Leo, it says you are beginning. Hmm. <laughs> You are being given a chance to do something over again. What will you do differently? And then it says, this situation is fraught with deception. All right. This situation is unhealthy. Okay. So, and then under that, it says, you need to be honest with yourself about what's going on here. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So there's a situation going on here that uh, needs your attention there may be something that you're thinking about starting again or doing something over again here sweetheart all right um sources already tell you you possibly already saw the signs that this situation is not healthy for you and this is crazy because i'm looking at this deck here and we have the seven of swords wow all right leo i wasn't going to clarify this but hell let's get into it see what's here okay all right, let's see. Most likely, you guys, I will be going live later on this evening, okay? Oh, 111 on the clock. Oh, I love it. Ah. Okay, so what the hell? All right. Something's messy. Uh, all right, I don't know how these cards went back in order. If they're right side up or upside down or what, but... I'm going to take it out how it comes out. Oh, what is this? Okay. Give me information about the situation for Leo, please. And thank you. Did not hesitate to come out. Look, there's something you don't know. There's illusions here. Somebody's wearing a false mask, sweetheart. Oh, there's a potential for the Ten of Swords to get hurt. Look, sweetheart, know your worth, okay? Um... You have stability. Your foundation looks good here, sweetheart. But there is something you're thinking about investing in that is not good for you. Something is being hidden from you, my love. Okay, so let's see here. Give me more about this situation, okay? Yeah. Mm. Something's telling you to go within. Trust your instincts. In your instincts here. Tap into your higher power here, okay? Ask for clarity in the situation. Um, okay, Leo. Yeah. There's something here that you're refusing to see, but you're about to get some clarity. Sources, look at this. Look at this. Don't do it. There's something hidden. Something hidden. Use your intuition here, sweetheart. You already know what's going on. You know what's going on in this situation. This is regarding the person that you are dealing with. They are wearing a false mask. There's illusions here. With the Seven of Cups here, there could be multiple people involved in this situation. This could be a love situation. This could be a family member, friend. I don't know, but something's going on here with this person. And if you don't pay attention to your intuition here, you're going to end up regretting this situation. Let's see. Yeah. There is some type of truth and clarity here that you're going to end up getting. Okay, so, Leo, I just got that somebody is hiding something from you. Um, they're not being upfront and honest with you. Somebody's holding back information. Closed off. Yep. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck, though. Ooh. What? Who is this with the world? Okay, so Leo, someone here is stuck on a situation with someone here, and the other person has moved on. Focus on other options here. It took a leap, a leap of faith towards someone else. Walked away. But someone here is stuck on a situation. 
Why are you obsessing over this situation? Or is, why is this person obsessing? Someone sees this person as someone, their, their wish fulfillment, stability, marriage material. They have love for this person, or you have love for this person, or whatever it is. But oh, this ain't healthy. This is no bueno for you, sweetheart. So you need to let this go. Or someone, you need to follow your intuition because your intuition is already telling you. Period. Okay? It's not healthy for you. Um, look at what's going on around you or in this situation. Hell, look at how this person is acting towards you. Um, to be honest, look at what's going on in your life since this person has entered into your life. Okay? This could be friend, family, co-worker. I don't know. But it's someone close to you, so you need to figure this out for yourself, okay? All right, what is the relationship of this person to Leo? It could be a family member, 10, 10 of cups. Leo, this could be a family member or someone that you consider family. You need to look at this person that's involving the involvement with this person from a different perspective. Mm. You're being given a chance to do something over again. What will you do? Heal. This landed on this. Wish fulfillment. Go after your wish fulfillment. Do what's best for you. Yes. I got love for you, but I need to do what's best for me to heal. This situation is unhealthy. Yes, there's drama here. Drama here. Conflict. Look at this. You need to move on from this situation, okay? Close out the cycle. Yes, because there's constant constant ish going on between you and this person or if not between you and this person mental conflict or just conflict between the both of you because of this situation somebody's possibly manipulative here i don't know but either way it goes this situation is not healthy so someone needs to let that go okay all right or stop dealing with this person if it's a family member friend co-worker whatever it is okay this person's bringing drama in your life and you're allowing it by dealing with this person, okay? All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Leo? Actually. And I do apologize if you can hear my neighbor uh, working with his grinder outside. Let's see. I'm going to start with these. And I'm going to kind of... Bring them all out. Let's see what we get here, okay? All right, strengthening bonds want to come out. Coming together, simply love. So it does look like you guys are focusing on relationships that are closest to you, friends, family members, whatever. If you're in a relationship, you're um, focusing on bringing that together as strong as possible. Okay, your most needed connections, most cherished connections. Let's see. Give me messages for Leo. Can I get three, please, for Leo? All right. Taking the lead. Win or lose. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Manifest. Hold on. Believe and succeed. Move. I like it. Leo, okay, so you're making drastic changes in your life, okay? Also moving forward uh, with newfound clarity information coming in for you, okay? There's going to be some changes here. Um, some of you, this communication that's coming in and the changes that are taking in places, some things are, you know, you got some wins coming into your life, new beginnings here, but sometimes those new beginnings, there's losses with that here. So win or lose, win and lose, you're moving forward here. Deciding to take the lead here. You've learned some things here, elevated here, all right? Got your graduation cap and all that, or should I say your graduation crown and your scroll of new information and all of that that you got going on for you, taking forward with you, okay? That's that wisdom and knowledge that you're carrying forward with you, okay? Taking new steps, new beginnings, okay? Taking control over a situation, your life here as well. Leaving that old person in the past and taking the newfound wisdom and clarity and information that you've gained with you moving forward. Um, damn, like emperor status here, all right? Also, a lot of you are moving into new connections as well. Uh, you got some new love here. And also closing off your heart to old um, old relationships and old heartache and things like that, okay? Strengthening bonds between you someone else in source as well you got a divine connection coming towards you all right 
and also moving into common waters, believing that what it is that you want to come to fruition in your life, you will actually achieve that. Stand positive, okay? And all the overall energy here is about manifesting. Manifesting new beginnings and what it is that you want in your life. I like this. Leo is pretty damn good. Hold on. Let's see. What else do we have for Leo here? Please and thank you. Why, why is everything falling on the floor? All right. So you also need to pay attention to angel numbers. A lot of you might be seeing a lot of angel numbers getting confirmations and things like that. Okay. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking of, who you're around when these things happen. And also um, look those up. All right. And also, it looks like you're strengthening bonds with relationships. This is overall energy as well. Um, stability, excuse me. All right. Removing um, things that are not healthy for us and incorporating healthy relationships, healthy mindsets, and things like that. Also, some of you might be incorporating some new uh, lifestyle changes and things like that in your life. All right. So, there might be some um, distractions. <laughs> like my dogs are here all right so we want to make sure that no matter what's going on we try to stay focused and stay on track here as well also using the information that we've learned to keep us on track all right and keep us stable at that time and also you know surrounding ourselves with healthy people all right um let's see all right stepping into your personal power this also is piggybacking off of take the lead here as well let's see anything else for Leo. Huh. all right and you got to be mindful of the distractions here as well because um being a sidetrack could actually have you miss out on some opportunities here so if there are situations here that are not that healthy in your life you might want to focus on doing something about that um, because there's going to be some opportunities that's going to lead to some real nice progress here. Could be finances as well, but don't get sidetracked by things that you shouldn't be spending your energy on, okay? Also, there's a lot to say about your hobbies and things like that, your creative side. Make sure that you're still, you know, doing what's best for you as far as like, uh, release intention and things like that. Spend time doing things that you love to do. All right. Um, for me, it's my tarot. But, you know, sometimes life actually gets in the way. So you can't really spend as much time doing the things that you love. But make sure that you find time to, you know, express yourself in ways that only you can do. All right. That's positive for you. And like, that's your creative, you know, your little creative side or whatever it is that you love to do. So spend some time focusing on you. Also making sure that you have boundaries here with yourself, knowing when too much is too much. And also when you're allowing other people coming in. Oh, look at this limitations. Yeah. All right. All right. Like I said, with those distractions here, be mindful of your thoughts, what you pour your energy into. Okay. Okay. Um, be mindful of investing or in time and energy into um, addictions or any toxicity that, you know, is not good for you. OK, learn lessons from the past. Absolutely. All right. So let's see. And then also with move forward and your crown, your personal power here, we have life purpose. So stepping into your life's purpose here, finding out what it is that you really love to do what you're called to do, okay, and stepping into that, and also that taps into that uh, creative expression as well, okay, so you're going to get a lot of clarity about some things that are going on in your life as well, so I like this, all right, taking a lot of action, moving forward, also manifestation, prosperity coming for you, some new beginnings happening for you, pay attention to your dreams here as well, you might be getting some downloads, some answers, and things like that, Clarity from source and also new ideas, uh, maybe birthing new ideas and things like this here. And also finding out ways to heal from within, okay, that brings balance into your life, okay? And then also know your limitations. Don't overdo it here, okay? 
Learn when to take a step back and kind of like, okay, Rusa, know when to ask for help and when you really need to try to, you know, talk to source and get some clarity about some situations, you know, when it comes to moving forward. All right, so let's see. What else do we have for Leo's? And I am going to get into the tarot in a minute because I know y'all tired of me talking, but I got to say what I got to say. All right. So a lot of you might be spending time around your home, your loved ones, especially around, you know, the holidays and things like that. All right. Let's see. We got inner child here, too. Someone's dealing with some inner childhood issues. Let's see. Or you may be dealing with someone who is possibly going through some shadow work, some awakening or dealing with something like that. This could be a family member, someone that's close to home here. Okay, this is a trip. Okay, we got inner child here, family tree, family tribe. All right, procrastination. All right, if there's some shadow work or something that you know that you need to do and you're kind of holding off on it or you know that you're dealing with someone here that... um is going through something and needs some type of help, counseling, or something like that, kind of jump on that, okay? All right, let's see. Someone may be having some issues about letting go of something from the past. All right, but have faith things are going to work out for you, all right? There's joy. Joy cometh in the morning, okay? I heard that. All right, and also, it's time to be real with yourself and real with everybody else. Someone here is wearing a false mask, not really, um, wow, okay, so someone here may have gone through or going through some hurt and pain here and you're kind of hiding it um, behind a false mask here, okay, a false persona, um, letting other people feel that or think that you're okay and you're really not here, sweetheart, or um, maybe someone here is, I don't know how to put this. Just not showing their true selves. Um, I don't know. Someone here needs to be authentic, not only with themselves, but with other people as well. Take off the mask. All right. And if there's something that you want to do creatively and you're afraid that people are going to judge you, sweetheart, people are going to judge you no matter what. So do what's best for you. Do what you love. Okay. Do what you focus on. That's weird how the color keeps changing in here. But anywho. All right, um, we have the Phoenix rising here. So it does look like you may have gone through some heartaches and pain. Um, some of you may have had um, some, you know, hella situations that you've gone through, grew up in or whatever. But no matter what you have gone through in your past, you ne you're not letting that hold you back. You're doing shadow work here and moving forward and healing. And also teaching those that, or you should be teaching those that come after you, um, what you've learned in your healing process, okay? And one of the things that we are working on or need to work on, uh-oh, about <laughs> with the shadow work is prejudice here, okay? And also vengeful. It says, find a better, a better way to heal your anger. Oh, my God, this negative emotion comes back full circle. Okay, so some people, you know, they might want to kind of lash out and want to get back at someone here, Um for whatever hurt and pain that uh, someone has caused them or whatever, even if um, you can't get back at it, this person, someone might, um, how can I say this? Like if you, if someone hurt you and you weren't able to hurt that person, the next person that you deal with or the people that you deal with, the lovers, the family members or whatever, you take it out on them. Okay. So someone needs to, to work on that. Okay. There may be some addictions here. Okay. Um, and whoever it is, they need to, need to figure out what emotions are you trying to cover up? Cause there may be certain triggers that make you want to smoke cigarettes, drink or overeat or, you know, smoke weed, whatever it is, you understand? So it just depends on how you do these things, recreational or whatever. Um, no judgment. Do your thing. All right. And then also prejudice. What if you are, I'm sorry, what if you were categorized into a group and given attributes that were false without truly knowing who you are? So this is like prejudging people and things like that. So be mindful of that. Get to know others and things like that. You understand? So I know that we are all fallible. Everybody has issues and certain things that we find quirky and like ill to other people. But it is what it is. It's about recognizing those things in yourself 
and healing those things for yourself and being patient with yourself, all right? So there's that. And remember not to judge yourself too harshly, sweetheart. Just know that we all have some things that we need to work through and grow through. And, uh, yeah, you know, be patient with yourself. You understand? So as long as you recognize that, you know, yeah, we got some stuff that we need to deal with, you know. Um, it doesn't really too much matter what other people say, you know. As long as God is pleased with you. All right, so let's see. But if you want to have people around you, you might want to think about some things. I'm just saying. Give me messages for Leo, please. And thank you. All right. So we have romance. All right. So Leo, the love showed up. All right. It says love is set to sizzle. All right. Um, the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. All right, so some of you might, um, you know, might have a new position coming up or, you know, you want to look good for work, trying to make, you know, make your mark and make your impression known or whatever you might have to, you know, step up your wardrobe or something like that. Some of you might be entrepreneurs investing in your business or something like that. I don't know. All right, for someone here, I just got that they may, uh, you may travel for work, so you might have to get a new uh, vehicle, a better vehicle, okay? And also, you got, look like you got some connections coming in. All right, some of you um, might have some new love, might be meeting someone new, met someone new, and uh, yeah, that person is about to set your soul on fire. Hopefully not literally, but I'm just saying. So you got some stuff coming in for you, okay? All right, so let's get in it. Let's see what else that we have for Leo's. Give me messages for Leo. I think later on it'll just be a love reading because pretty much I'm covering everything else. Oh, my. Okay. Give me two more, please, and thank you. All right, so we have the candle. You will be shown the way. Someone is going out of your life here. All right, so Leo, what the hell is this? All right. Um, you have some unseen, unforeseen changes in your life. Guaranteed success. The stars, some of you might be um, actually in the limelight here, okay? You might be an actual star. -er. Let's see. All right, so we got the casket. Someone here is leaving your life. Heartache over what you no longer have. So there might be a connection that you have with someone that's actually ending here. Uh, seek out information that will help you. All right, and for whatever reason, this landed over here on personal power. So there might be some information that comes to you or you're able to obtain that actually helps you along with the situation. I don't know, kind of getting it might have something to do with someone leaving your life. I don't know. Maybe you'll get some type of clarity about this situation. It's like, you know what? Yeah. See, whatever is done in the dark will come to the light. Damn, you got the scissors here, disappointment in some affairs. So... I don't know, but you'll be shown the way. Hmm. So whatever is about to come to pass, I think, Leo, you might be thinking about doing something. And before you do it, you're going to get some information. That's information. That's, that's, wow. That's deep. All right. So ego, triumph over troubles and obstacles here. Love it. All right, broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I kind of think that broken bridge is probably a bridge um, with someone here for whatever reason. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's see here. This is bugging me because this is off. It's an odd number. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. But this is bothering me because this is an odd number. So hold on. Let's see. Give me three more, please, and thank you for Leo. My God, that was bugging me. <laughs> All right, Leo, so something may be coming up for you in May. All right, major challenges to overcome. What the hell is this? Okay, but it lands over here on the ego, triumph over some obstacles. All right, and then the bow, you are highly thought of. All right, so we got some respect here. All right, so let's see. Something may be coming up in May. Could be these challenges here, all right? And then it's a trip because you have the unsuccessful outcome to a problem, the broken bridge, and then you have the bridge. 
successfully overcoming a problem. So no matter what it is that um, looks like it was kind of hindering you, sweetheart, it looks like you are going to overcome this, okay? All right, so let's see how this is lining up. You'll be showing the way. Major challenges to overcome unsuccessful outcome to a problem, but you'll be showing the way. Successfully overcoming a problem. Heartache over what you no longer have. Triumph over obstacles. May the bridge. All right. So, whatever this is, Leo, it looks like you're coming through it, sweetheart. All right. So, why is this heartache here? What does Leo no longer have? Looks like, Leo, you're leaving something behind. Looks like you've been patient with something here, all right? Um, it looks like you decided to pull your energy back from something here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Leo, yeah, it looks like you've thought about this long and hard, and it looks like you, um, this is heartbreaking, but you realize there's a situation or a person that you were dealing with that is um, very toxic here. Yeah, focusing on healing and also believing and succeeding, okay? Knowing that you're going to get through this. And then, damn, we have move here under the bottom of that, okay? So successfully overcoming a problem, definitely shining through this, absolutely moving forward, taking a leap of faith in a new direction, trusting that source has a new beginning for you, okay? Um, like I said earlier, you might get some type of confirmation or communication about the situation, which helps you close the cycle out. We have the two of cups in reverse. This is not working out. This is conflicted. This is drama. This is a headache. This is not worth your time investing in, okay? So you're moving forward. Look, like I said, this is not waste. You'll, you, you'll die trying to bring this together, okay? And if that's not a literal death, it's an emotional, mental death, okay? It will drain the hell out of you, okay? So this is something I think that you're getting downloads and you're realizing this and moving forward successfully, okay? All right, so something that's going out of your life or an end of a situation, someone or an end of a situation. Like I said, Leo, you're pulling back your energy from this situation. Um, you possibly have found out some things about this person or realized some things about this person. The sad part is, is that I think you have a lot of love for this person, but you may realize that it's better to move on um, by yourself without this person. Yeah. Ooh. You could be dealing with somebody that is just like, I don't want to say money hungry, but that's their main focus, materialistic and very prideful here. This person might, you know, crave attention and very arrogant and things like this. This could have been somebody that, you know, you decided to resurrect a relationship with, but it may not have worked out like you wanted. So you decide, yeah, you decided to walk away from this person, blocking this situation out. Your intuition is telling you, yeah, just cut communication and things like that. There's this person has some things going on that you don't know and you feel it. All right. So there's that. That's moving on. So what are these obstacles? Whew. All right. So some of you might be going through some financial issues here or it could be that, you know, someone here is may experience some difficulty releasing this person, but there's a new beginning coming up after you close out a cycle here, okay? Some of you actually might be meeting someone new. Some of you, oh yeah, look, 10 of cups. Okay, so what I would suggest, <laughs> you're manifesting new beginnings in your life here, sweetheart. You're manifesting stabilities. Um, you're manifesting overcoming financial obstacles as well, okay? Also, if this is regarding the person out in the code, I would definitely walk away from this past person. I would definitely walk away from this past person anyway because it kind of seems like they bring a lot of drama in your life. All right, absolutely move forward. Same thing that I just told you. Look, someone here may have some anxiety about letting go of a person from their past or stepping off into a new beginning that you have no idea what's what's coming for you. But source is telling you no matter what it is, if this is a new money path or whatever, because your finances are kind of bleak right now, are you doing all right? 
but you could be doing much better here. Source is telling you don't trip, sweetheart. You might not have all the education or whatever the training that you need, but you're going to be shown the way, okay? If the opportunity arise, run it, go after it, okay? Don't stress over it. Use your intuition and trust your higher powers to, to actually move you along the way, okay? Justice is being served here. So this is something that you definitely manifested in your life. All right, and this could come around May, all right? I don't know, but, you know, Source has control over all timing and things like this, but May is coming out. And you see these cherry blossoms blooming and things like that. For me, that's a new beginning. Something prosperous coming for you. All right, so what is this guaranteed success for Leo? All right, <laughs> taking a break, walking away, moving on from something so that you can actually see it clearly, okay? Healing from something here too. Focus on self-love, self-care, getting control of your emotions here, okay? Getting ready to make a decision here, your next move. All right, absolutely. Moving forward, you decided to successfully block something out that was toxic for you all right and moving on and this brings in stability all right also strengthening bonds with source here as well let's see give me more for leo please and thank you investing in yourself my love absolutely transformation okay change growth success prosperity okay um, spiritual enlightenment here, okay? You ran the race, sweetheart. You sowed some seeds. You you were exhausted, okay? You were invested in something that just kept you going and going and going and going and going on a hamster wheel. But now you decided to say, you know what? Let me switch this up. Let me block this negative energy out no matter what it is. People, person, place, or things, whatever. You decided to make some changes here, investing in yourself, which promotes growth, stability, working on yourself from the inside out. Also, your pinnacles as well, okay? Investing in yourself. Fighting tooth and nail to stay above water. And guess what? You're successfully overcoming a lot of things here. Transformation and growth. What is this unsuccessful outcome to a problem? I think this is this connection here. But to me, it's like, yeah, see, look at that. Look at that. Someone here, there was an offer here for a new beginning here. But. Someone decided not to take it because look at what it's coming up with. Yes, garden is... Okay, so Leo, it looks like, you know what? There may have been a connection, like I said, that you wanted to come back together, but your intuition is telling you, no, I don't think this is best for you. Or you could have tried to bring this connection together and every time you try, something is blocking it or whatever. So you're realizing that, you know what? Something's not right here, possibly because like I said... Source see something that this person is doing in the background that they don't want you a part of. Could be other people involved. This person could have addictions. This person could have mental issues or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, all right? Ill intentions, but whatever it is, it kind of looks like you are not um, accepting this offer. Your, your guard is something is telling you that this person is not... Someone that's going to stay. Someone that can be trusted, okay? And Source is telling you this also, okay? So you might have tried to get this to come together and it's a no. All right. It's a no. Too much stuff unknown here. All right? Secrets and all kind of things. And Source is telling you, yeah, I think you better move on, sweetie. We got something else better for you. So what didn't work out for you actually works out for you because you successfully overcome getting through a situation that was not good for you, okay? Let's see, major challenges to overcome. Yeah, see, there's some type of connection that you have with this person that you kind of, let's see. Yeah, for some of you, it's this connection here. Yeah, you might be dealing with somebody that's offering very little, very impulsive, in and out, all over the place. This person's a sweet talker. They, they tell you what they want you to hear, maneuvering around you, okay? So this is what you're overcoming here. You're getting through this. Finally making a decision to move on, take action, okay? Going towards someone that's actually bringing you something stable here. Going towards stability, okay? All right, so... We're making a decision. This decision leads to success because you're taking action. Finally, 
deciding to close the door to someone that's no good for you. This could actually be a new person that you've met. And you're already starting to see the red flags here, okay? So you're closing this door. Hurry up, slam it shut, move forward. All right, cool. So source is like, okay, you know what? I saw that what you did there. You saw the red flags here. You decided not to pour all your cups into this person. And you decided to close the door moving on, okay? So we got something better for you. New beginnings that bring stability. Successfully overcoming problems. That bridge brings you to new lands, new new opportunities here. All right, what's coming in May with this successfully overcoming an issue? All right, like I said, taking action. You got communication coming in, new beginnings. Walking away brings new opportunities, okay? Newfound clarity, all right? I love it. Emotional stability. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to give you something here, okay? Some of you guys are going to be elevating to new positions here. Could be a new um, new money coming towards you. Look at this the devil sitting here on the back. Ooh. Okay. Is that devil watching you move? Things are going to be balancing out for you. This person could be watching you move on. Okay. That's their business. It is what it is. Okay. Be diligent about what it is that you want to do. Move on. Heal. Start that new beginning of yours. You're going to be showing the way. As soon as you close the door, new opportunities come towards you. Okay. And this, I don't see Ace of the Cups here. I see Ace of Wands. So for me, you could be moving on from a toxic job situation um, or something like that, or just going towards your dreams, your goals, your desires. All right. Your wish fulfillment here with the star. All right, so whatever it is that you desire, you're not letting anything hold you back. And the source is telling you, move on, sweetheart. There's guaranteed success. You can't fail. All right, so there's that. All right, let's get into the kipper. Ooh, hold on. Let's see what we got. This should be interesting. That's crazy how that turned into love. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for the kipper? For... Leo, I should have turned these around. Hold on, you guys. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. Three, please, for Leo. Okay, we got toil and labor. We have poverty and despair. I'm going to take those as extra. Give me flippers, please. Wow, I just saw marriage here. All right, so I almost shouldn't take those, but I will. You got some type of blessing coming in. False person on the bottom of the deck. Despair and poverty here. Leo, <laughs> I took those, those cards because despair always comes out here. Someone here might be really going through some financial issues here, okay? Uh, this could be you. This could be somebody that you are dealing with here. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates. All right, so let's see. I am going to clarify this. This could be you or this could be someone here. Let's see. Clarify despair and poverty. Why is this person in despair? This is definitely behind work. It ends up on uh, I don't know why, Leo, but I just got that someone may have found out or may find out that they're pregnant or have gotten someone pregnant and they don't make enough money. This might be a, someone that you're on a break with or what the hell? Okay.
This is interesting. And now my eye wants to start jumping. What did I tap into? Oh, Lord, what did I tap into? Oh, my goodness. Somebody is worried that they don't have enough money here. For a relationship and a family. We have the Empress and the Two of Cups here. And also with the Three of Wands. Somebody might be waiting for information regarding a new position, new money, new opportunity here. But I think someone here is about to find out that they are pregnant. But who saw? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Somebody's concerned. They want to take action here. Um, somebody might be working their butt off, but not making a lot of money here. But somebody is getting ready to get a new opportunity here. Absolutely. New opportunity is coming, okay? All right, so if this is someone that's stressing over money about taking care of a family, especially a new family here, or a new new baby, a new connection here, you do have something new coming for you. New, um, new finances here. I see that you're going to be taking action here. It's just time that you're going to have to save here. Use your intuition, okay? Also, keep what you got going on to yourself here. Someone here... If they also might be keeping this pregnancy quiet right about now, but somebody been busy. Absolutely. But you got a new beginning coming here. All right. That was random. Wow. Anywho. <laughs> for those that that applies to. Okay. So let's get more for this situation here. That's crazy. Somebody's kind of stressed. Mm. Anyway, let's see. So financial issues look like they are going to be straightened out here. Yeah, you're going to get communication moving, coming through for movement. Okay, right about now, you might be feeling stuck, like things aren't moving forward. Just be patient, all right? Some of you may have to learn a new skill or something like that, or you're in the process of learning a new skill. Man, you're going to be working your butt off, though. I see that. But you're going to be making progress. All right, getting the bill collectors and things like that off your back and things like that. The naysayers and all that. Who cares what they say, sweetheart? Don't focus on any of your energy on that. Just focus on your pinnacles because they're coming, okay? So money issues are, are pretty much going to be resolved, especially for those of you that are making the decision to um, take the lead. And how can I say? Some of you might be starting your own business and things like that, side hustle or whatever. I don't know. Or finally doing what you want to do, okay? Um, I do believe that you're going to be overcoming any financial obstacles here, okay? All right, so let's clarify. That's clarifying poverty and despair here in toil and labor. So all that is kind of going in together here, okay? So like I said, somebody might be going through some financial issues here. Um, if this is not someone that is pregnant or expecting a baby here, you're worried about your financial status here, all right? You got something new coming for you, something that's stable, something that's abundant, okay? You, your finances are going to be okay, and this is going to be something that you're very passionate about. I do see that you're going to be spending most of your time working your butt off, especially those of you that are entrepreneurs or if you're in a new position where you are a lead, a supervisor, or someone in um, a position of authority, okay? All right, some of you may be given some type of gift or some type of blessing coming your way. Give me more on this, please. 
All right. Yeah, you got something coming for you, okay? This be in a, a form of a car. You might be getting a new car or something like that here. Or someone may be traveling towards you. Ooh, there's some type of change coming for you here, though. All right. It's possibly, well, it's a blessing. It's a change for the better. Okay. So... Yeah, right now, someone might be trying to keep something secret from you, too. All right, so there might be some type of collaboration with friends or family, maybe family members or something like this are getting together to kind of gift you something that you've always wanted. I don't know. Maybe they're kind of keeping it on the low right here, okay? Let's see. Also, I see a lot of you, your um, your spiritual gifts, your, your spiritual... Uh, uh, connection with source is being enhanced as well. So there's that. Okay, I like that as well. Let's see. All right. I also think whatever this is that's coming in for you uh, is something that you really love. Ooh, something that you're really going to like. All right. One of your gifts and your blessings that's coming towards you is that you're going to be more confident in your spiritual gifts and practices as well. Okay. Um, I also think that you're going to, some of you will actually end up, um, learning how to connect more with your higher sources and things like that. Okay. Uh, learning how to use your intuition more and trust it as well. Focusing more on your connection with source. You got something else coming in for you, too, that looks like it's karma chasing you down. You might have someone coming towards you. Yeah. Look at this. I like this. All right. What is this? Yes. Look at this. There's a lot of masculine energy here and a lot of court cards here. So, Leo, you might have more than one person coming towards you here, sweetheart. Use your discernment. Um, don't be so quick to rush into anything. I see that you got your guard up here, sweetheart, but it's okay to let some folks in. It's okay to talk to some folks, see what they're about, okay? There's that. And it looks like you got someone here that's financially stable here and who has a lot of love to give here, but, you know, this person... They might have uh, earth with water in their chart here, or this could be two different people. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I see you're definitely going to take your time with this person, see what they're up to, what they're bringing in this cup. Uh, very decisive here. You know what you want. You're not settling for less. You did some hard work to get yourself to this status here, or you want to work on getting yourself to this status here, not only financially, but emotionally, mentally, and everything, all of the above. You understand? So I get it. All right. So you're making decisions for yourself as well here. All right. Um, there may be some type of legal decision that's going on here that you may be worried and stressed about. Okay. I think that this 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 is going to be ending soon. I think that this is going to be yeah, judgment is about to be uh ruled here. And I think this is going to be very successful for you. Let's see. Yeah. Just be patient here, sweetheart. Be patient. It kind of seems like you've been in this situation before. All right. All right, so I'm going to put it to you like this. Um you might be tempted to say something harsh or, let's see, if this is not a court case, this is some major decision here. Uh-oh. This is something that's keeping you up, something that's very stressed about. Okay. Oh, okay. This is about this connection here, whoever this is. All right. It kind of looks like you're going to be making a decision here about who you're going to deal with here. I think you're dealing with two different people. One of these people, um, there may be some things that actually comes to light about this person here. Yeah, we got a false person here. So someone here, 
um, you may discover that this person is a bit, you know, a bit of a player or something like that. I don't know. All right. And before you get stuck in any type of third party situation, you're going to make a judgment call here. Really um, connecting with source and not investing emotions in this situation. You're really going to tell this person too um, what it is that you're looking for and what you're not trying to deal with. Kind of think you've been holding out doing so if you're not if you're dealing with this person already. Clarify this false person. This is somebody that's coming towards you too, one of these three people. All right, so somebody might put up the facade like they match your energy. All right, they know that you're the empress, so they're going to try to put up the facade like, you know, yeah, I'm an empress too, uh, an emperor, all right? But this person is not going to be able to hold up to those standards, okay? So you may end up regretting dealing with this person and putting an end to the situation. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be heartbreaking, but you might end up blocking this person out because this person came in with illusions. All right, so there may be something that you find out about this person. All right, especially after paying attention to how they move and how they speak and, you know, just different things about this person. I don't know. All right, so definitely making a decision about this person. Ooh. So one of these two people that's coming towards you is a no for them. All right. Let me have somebody want a new beginning. Look at this. Look at this. Like I told you, this person is coming in with illusions. Mm -hmm. Under the pretense, want a new beginning. Like they're bringing something solid, something stable, but something's not setting well with you. You're looking at this person from all angles and something is just not working well with you. So you're going to end up cutting this person off most likely. Okay. You realize that. They're wearing a false mask, okay? So you got something real coming in for you. All right. You got something real and something false. All right. You got a diamond and a cubic zirconia coming in. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So you got some decisions to make here when it comes to love and finances here for sure. All right. So let's see. That's crazy how this love keeps showing up in your reading, and I'm not asking about love, but it's crazy. And then when I was shuffling, we saw the marriage card, so I kind of feel somebody's moving into a new connection very soon. All right, so give me... Okay, so clear your space. It's time to detox. You know what to do, all right? All right, so we got clairvoyance and clairsentience. Wow. All right. And then we have outdoors. Go outdoors. Go outside. Get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Absolutely. So very peaceful, especially when no other people are around. All right, and then it says clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear your energy around you. Use feng shui. And then clairvoyance, I am helping you, I'm sorry, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, so, all right, so you might have the gift of sight and uh, you might be able to hear downloads and things like that as well. We have clairsentience. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to what's going on with your mind, body, and soul, especially when you're around certain people, certain energies, and things like that, okay? Your body will tell you what's going on quicker than, you know, you hear it or see it, okay? So there is that. Let me get one more message for Leo, and then I'm out of here. For now, and I'm going to try to go live later on this evening, too. Let's see. 
All right. So it says attune to the divine. Absolutely. Take inspired action. Step into your power, which came out over there. Release control. I think all of that came out in the readings and the oracles be um, beforehand. Okay. Now it's time for you to move. What is it that you want to do? Okay. Um, trust the divine in this situation. Do what you can do, sweetheart. Step into your power. Take the lead. You know, the lessons that you've learned from the past uh, situations, you know, go ahead and use that to um, forge your way to a new beginning here, a new healthy beginning, okay? And figure out what it is that you want to do. But don't try to control the situation. Ask source for guidance and you'll be given it, all right? You'll be given the light, the torch to light your way. All right, my loves, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.